Here it is. It has arrived. The Gene Simmons Vault from Rhino Records. Why am I blurry? Okay, I'm not that blurry. We're good. I've just rushed in from the rain. That's why there's a hat on my head. And uh, we are excited. We are very, very, very excited to open this Gene Simmons Vault. Now, for those who don't know the story, hey, Darcy, how you doing, buddy? For those who don't know the story, the Gene Simmons Vault was released back in uh, about 2017, 2018 as a massive box set this big huge actual it looked like a vault it looks like a safe and it cost about i don't know 1500 bucks canadian plus you've got your shipping on top of that anyway i really wanted this gene simmons vault box set because it contains 11 cds of unreleased music now the music is of questionable quality. Go to twoloudtwooldmusic.com to look at john t snow's review disc by disc of the vault and he will tell you which songs are good and which songs are crap. And a lot of them were crap. Having said that, I'm a Kiss collector. I'm a Kiss. I mean, you can see right there. There's some Kiss figures right there. I'm a Kiss collector. I am a Kiss completist. I want everything that I can possibly get in an official format. Um, if these songs were released on a Kiss box set, no one would blink an eye because, like many bands, Kiss record their demos largely individually. Gene recorded a lot of demos. This is very heavy. Now, just uh, for those who do know about the vault, Rhino Records just reissued this as just the discs. And if you wanted to pay an extra 20 bucks, you could also get the Gene Simmons figurine and the Gene Simmons coin that were included in the big vault. There was a lot of other stuff in that big vault. Booklets and posters. And there was like a special Kiss memorabilia from Gene's collection. Unique to each box. Anyway, let's start. We have, first of all, a very nicely packed set with Gene Simmons, the figurine, right on top. And I call this a figurine. They call it an action figure. But to be an action figure, don't you have to be somewhat articulated? This is a statue. That is a statue. Now, the claim to fame for this is this is the only Gene Simmons action figure, figurine ever issued in his non-makeup guise. Looks pretty cool there with his Prince Valiant hair and his sunglasses. But to me, an action figure is something you can do action with. That's my Silver Surfer. You will be seeing the Silver Surfer in my Joe Satriani um Surfing with the Alien review very soon. And Darcy, Kiss is one of those bands that are both perfect and perfectly evil for collectors. That is so well said, my friend. And yes, action implies some action. Now, a friend of mine, Mike, was uh, just offered $100 or $80 or something ridiculous for just his Gene Simmons figurine. He's keeping his sealed in plastic, and I am too. Even though it's, it's not the greatest display item is it but i'm gonna keep them packaged for that reason apparently just the figure alone got an 80 to 100 offer um for this <laughs> i would say it's about uh, 10 inches there he is gene simmons ladies and gentlemen gene simmons now there's also the coin. Here's the coin, and I may as well keep that in plastic as well. This is just, I don't know. It's heavier than aluminum, but I highly doubt it's a valuable metal at all. It's not plated or anything like that, but it says on it something in Latin, <laughs> and then it says the vault. If you can read Latin, there you go. 
and on the back in okay, more Latin. And uh, the songs here span 1966 to 2016. <laughs> Brian says, I would pay at least a dollar for that Gene Simmons action figure. But, you know, I, I wanted the CDs. That's the main thing is I collect physical formats. I collect physical media only. And I didn't want to settle for like a downloaded Gene Simmons vault. I wanted the discs. And it looks like it is more than worth it with the size of this booklet. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at that thing. It's almost as big as the um, the history books. It'd just be a little bit longer, but wow. Wow. Now this is getting opened because we intend to listen. We intend to listen to these CDs. And as bad as some of these songs are, there are some Kiss demos on here that are extremely collectible. I believe John T. Snow said there were three songs with Eddie and Alex Van Halen, and Christine 16 is one of them. Um, these are tracks that they recorded as Love Gun demos, and Gene was courting Van Halen at that time, if you recall. 1978. Uh, or 77, sorry. Um, yeah, so they're the, the long-awaited Van Halen demos, which I honestly thought we'd never, ever, ever see. And they're here. Well, uh, here we go. Let's open it. Let's open it. It's kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> and yes, Darcy, music is for listening. This is nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie to you. This is, this is sold out, by the way. It sold out uh, in less than a day, I think, or two days. This was available from Rhino Records very, very briefly without the big box and all the shenanigans and the, the $1,000 price tag. Just the music in a really nice book. There it is. Perfectly displayable on its own. You don't need the big vault itself. We have this. Gently. I meet lots of fans all the time. I meet a Star Wars fan who collects Star Wars memorabilia. I meet comic book fans, baseball fans, and sports fans. Me, I just collect. <laughs> he just collects him. Awesome booklet, says Brian. Looks great, says Darcy. And I will tell you that John T. Snow wanted to buy a second copy of this because of the way the discs are packaged. You can see, you know, you've got to slide that out and you risk damaging your disc when you do that. So Snowman was going to buy a second copy and keep it sealed. And I don't blame him. But there are 11 discs in here, each one with unreleased music on it. And um, some of these songs we have heard of for many, many years. We've heard these titles. And other songs we've never heard of. So this is going to take a while to listen to. It's going to take approximately 12 hours, I would assume, with 11 discs there. And um, it might be a bit of a slog. But I was talking to Marco Doria. And uh, Marco of the Contrarians fame, obviously. And Marco feels that I should do a full review of this box set. And I said, well, go big or go home. It would be one post per disc, plus probably one other post just to cover the extras and the experience of owning the vault, which I'm still, I'm kind of like in awe that I'm holding this in my hands and I'm about to put it in my CD player in a few minutes and listen to it. And you can see for yourself the liner notes and uh, some of these songs, Waiting for the Morning Light, for example, that was on Gene's solo album, A-Hole. I'm not going to dignify it by saying the whole name. So say A-Hole. Waiting for the Morning Light. That's the one that he co-wrote with Bob Dylan. Guys, I, I just opened it to that page. This is a song that he co-wrote with Bob Dylan for the Revenge album. And when it came down to the lyrics, Gene said, well, Bob, uh, do you want to tackle the lyrics? And Bob's like, no, nah, man, you do it. It's something like that. You know, I'm sure the story is there in the text. But there you go. There's a lot of songs here that you will know from you know, Kiss albums and from solo albums, but there's a whole ton of songs here that you won't know. And for some reason, they weren't released. And I think we're going to discover why they weren't released as I listen. Do you listen to collections in law? Ah, this is a great question, Darcy. I believe in listening to a disc all the way through without, uh, you know, putting other things on or skipping tracks. 
um, kind of drives my used to drive my wife nuts. Now she likes the experience of hearing a full album in the car. But um, no, I believe in listening to full albums. This obviously being, you know, what it is, a huge, you know, half day of listening. Obviously, I will need to take an ear break and I will need to listen to other things in between discs. I intend to listen to each disc in sequence, in full, and uh, I will have to listen to other music in the meantime. I had that experience with the Metallica black box set. That thing's huge. It's it's probably another 11 discs. You, know, you can't listen to all the Metallica all the time for that length of time. It sounds like razor blades coming at your ears after a while, and not to mention the amount of repeat on the Metallica box set. How many times do you need to hear a live version of Seek and Destroy? Um, I, I'm okay. Even if streaming, we're going full albums. You know what, Darcy? I've been this way since I was a kid. And I think a lot of that has to do with growing up with the cassette format. When I was first listening to music, my first record that was, uh, non-symphonic, we'll get in this tomorrow, into this tomorrow on Grab a Stack of Rock, by the way. My first, uh, music that was non-symphonic was, uh, Styx. Kilroy was here and I would tend to skip the ballads. When I got a cassette player and cassette dominated my life for like 15 years of listening, skipping tracks was more annoying. So we would just listen to the entire side, basically. And that's how I grew into this habit of only listening to full releases. And this is going to be an exhausting one. And wish me luck. Wish me luck. This is going to be the kind of thing where I'm going to have to basically review it as I'm listening to it for the first time. Otherwise, it'll never get done. There it is, Gene Simmons, The Vault. My Kiss collection is now just... I'm very happy. I'm very happy. This was $99 for The Vault. For the Gene Simmons figurine. And for the coin. To get just The Vault, just the music on its own, 80 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Considering I was looking at, I was seriously looking at dropping $1,500 on the big safe, you know, the big one. I was considering it. Um, more than money, space was more of an issue because, as you can see, we have issues. Um, I would have to use it as a coffee table. So I was holding out all these years in the hopes that this would happen, and this did happen. So, folks, don't always, always, always jump the gun and buy the big thing if you suspect a uh, more modest-sized package is coming in the future because... I mean, I held out all those years and there's the reward. I'm, I finally got the vault. I finally got it physically and I'm so, so, so happy. And so is my Kiss collection. That's about it. I'm going to pop this in. I'm going to start listening and I'm going to get this uh, video up on my blog. So thanks for watching on this rainy Thursday afternoon. Tomorrow on Grab a Stack of Rock, I have John Clauser, I have Reed Little, and I have Jex Russell. And we're going to talk about metal origins, the point at which we got into metal, which is why I was talking about that symphonic, uh, my symphonic music before. Um, we'll get into that tomorrow. It's a good story. And Reed has a great story as well. I'm eager to hear jo John and Jex's introduction to metal. If you love metal, tune in to Grab a Stack of Rock live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. I guarantee you a good time. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Darcy. And Brian, oh my God, I would have bought... It sold out, bud. It sold out, I am sorry to say. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow on Grab a Stack of Rock. I will have shaven by then and done something about this hair. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.